So now that we have BLE for pure substances, which is pretty easy because you only have either vapor phase or liquid phase and one single substance, let's further our knowledge for binary systems, which are two species. This means a mixture, typically a homogeneous phase mixture. Now guys, I get a lot of questions from my students regarding binary. Binary stands for the total number of species. Many, let's say, ask me if water in liquid and vapor phase is a binary system because we have two phases. No, actually we are referring binary to the total amount of species. So right now we have water. This is pure substance or only one system. But let's say we add acetone to this mixture. Then we will have a vapor mixture of water and acetone. We will have a liquid mixture of water and acetone. This is a binary system. And please, I also get this question, if binary implies vapor, liquid, liquid, or vapor, liquid, solid, no guys. We are still in vapor liquid only, and binary stands for the total amount of species. Actually, I have a set of examples, common examples, acetone and water, ethanol water, sulfuric acid, which technically speaking is a lot of uh, hydrogen sulfide, uh, sulfate and water. Exane and octane, this is also common, C6, C8 mixture. And as you can see, there are always two species. If you have three species, let's say that here we added C7, well, then we have a tree or ternary system. So forget that. Ensure to have two species. Compositions of, let's say, the more volatile material will be from 0 to 100%, and the least volatile will be 100 to 0%. And it's awesome that each one, depending on the composition, will have different vapor pressure and vapor uh, or temperature of vaporization. So why? Well, hopefully it makes sense that, let's say we have a very silly example. 90% water, 10% acetone versus a 10% water and 90% acetone system now i don't remember acetone boiling point but should be lower let's say this is about 80 celsius and water is about 100 celsius so if i ask you what will be the uh, boiling point of this mixture you should probably guess something near to 100 celsius this 90 percent 80 percent 10 percent Maybe you can guess this is a 95 Celsius mix. But if I select this water and acetone mixture, then you probably will say that this is nearest to the 80 Celsius and you guess 85 Celsius. So this is of course an example. But you can see that the same mixture, water and acetone, can have different boiling points depending on their compositions. So that's the important part to understand in the VLE or vapor liquid equilibrium for binary systems. Actually, you will see that if we fix pressure, let's say pressure one atmosphere, which is very common, our, let's say earth has one atmosphere of pressure. Therefore, let's say we have ethanol and water. So we have 100 Celsius, 78 Celsius for ethanol. So if we have 0% in the liquid phase, then you should assume that 100% of that mixture will be water. And yes, water has 100 Celsius. For the other hand, if you assume maybe that this is 90% or 100% ethanol, you will get something around 78 Celsius as boiling point of ethanol. Now you can see all these temperatures in between will depend on the molar composition of ethanol. You can see here 0% up to 90% in this specific table. Of course, you can get to 100%. Now, the interesting part right here is that you can get, as you can see here, this is liquid phase, vapor phase. You can get X stands for liquid phase, Y stands for vapor phase, and you can do this for I or J. In this specific case, we will have ethanol and water. So you can get the vapor pressure with this table of water, if this is 0% ethanol, of course, 100% will be water. 
You can do the same here. For instance, if we have 55% in the ethanol vapor phase, therefore 45% in the vapor phase must be water. And you can do this all the way. You can get uh, vapor pressures. You can calculate temperatures, total uh, temperature, which is given here. And hopefully you get the idea that this is a lot of data and you can plot them. Actually, you can see different lines, which we're going to see later. But I don't want to get into that point already. Talking about graphs, we will typically add a 45 degree line. We're going to cover much more of these graphs in the following sections. But for the moment, I want to show you that if we wanted to graph these species, the benzene toluene, we will have vapor phase and liquid phase. So here's an example. We got liquid phase and vapor phase. So if we wanted to graph this, we will get something similar to this. Well, actually, technically speaking, ethanol and water is not a good example. Toluene and benzene, because they are pretty similar, it's a good example. And as you can see, you can kind of guess what's here, what's here, and what's here. We're going to be talking about bubble points, dew points later on. So just keep that in mind. And this is the part I wanted to show you on the binary systems. We will see more diagrams later on, no worries. And this is a very beautiful setup, but we are going to see also something like this, or even something like this. Well, this is kind of extreme. Only one crossover. These are non-ideal systems, which we're going to see later on.